All right, so I got a Halloween haunt um, kind of update today. I, I was invited to a media event tonight, um, and unfortunately I was away on the weekend and I had so much going on, I didn't submit my RSVP. And then I ended up actually having something to go to later tonight anyway, so I won't even be at Halloween haunt tonight. Um, so I couldn't make it either way, even if I wanted to, unfortunately. Um, so uh, I'm really sorry to you guys that I'm not able to go to the media event tonight and grab you some really awesome footage. Um, but uh, I'm going to go over quickly my favorite things about Halloween Haunt, my favorite maze um, last year, um, and uh, based, of, based off of what I'm seeing so far, my continued favorite maze this year. Um, so Halloween Haunt is one of my favorite events at Canada's Wonderland. Um, in fact, Haunted Houses are one of my favorite events anywhere, and Canada's Wonderland does it best. In terms of Ontario and Canada, I would definitely say Canada's Wonderland holds the best haunted event. If you haven't been, Go check it out. It's not too scary. Um, if you're under the age of 16, maybe, I would just suggest if you're with your family, don't go to the Sinner's Lounge show. That's the only thing that I find um, slightly inappropriate about Howling Haunt. Um, and it's not even that inappropriate. It's just risque. Um, so definitely, even if you are a family and you want to go do something scary together and all that, this is an event to go to. Just avoid maybe that one show. Um, my other favorite thing about Halloween Haunt is the, um, I forget what it's called, but it's a, you basically hurl a ball at this target while this guy insults you to knock him into the water. It's from a really high point. You'll see it actually at the end of this video. I showcase it. Um, but yeah, I, in this video today, I'm just going to showcase uh, some of the things I saw today that really interested me. There's a Spirit Manor walkthrough um, today with some really awesome footage of inside that maze. Um, it's a super cool maze. It is kid friendly while I'm filming it. Don't worry. Don't judge it too hard <laughs> if you're not from Ganon's Wonder. It's kid friendly at the moment. It was for trick or treating. Um, but super impressed with that maze. Definitely give that a check. Watch all the footage in this clip if you've never been to Halloween Haunt or you want to see um, some of the sets today um, for this year. Definitely filmed a lot of those. Um, and I hope for any of you going to Halloween Haunt uh, today, tomorrow, or at all this. Um, this year that you have an amazing time. It looks absolutely amazing. I definitely loved Blackout last year. Um, the crypt looks amazing. And the ruins is also one of those like really high value sets. Uh, probably cost them a lot to make. And Spirit Manor is definitely up there. So my favorite maze is Spirit Manor. Um, for those of you that were guessing, Cornstalkers used to be my favorite. It's definitely getting a little old. Um, and I'm not a fan of the sci-fi house. It's my least favorite. Anyways, we're going to get right into the Haunted House uh, Spirit Manor tour walkthrough. Um, and then you'll see some footage from uh, today of the haunt setups and haunt prep. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to watch. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.